G'day guys, it's Mark here from North Oz and in today's video, I've got my 2021 Land Cruiser Prado, the perfect Prado build, not to be confused with our second 2022 Prado that we also have, uh, which is more of a towing rig. So this is my personal uh, rig that we have here and I do a lot of off-roading in this. I've done about 10,000 Ks in about six, seven months in this thing here. But what we're talking about today, guys, is the tires and whether or not the stock tires that come with these vehicles are they appropriate for both on-road, off-road, and all your towing and off-road needs? So we'll get stuck into that today. It's gonna to be an interesting conversation. I've had a lot of comments about these tires and whether or not people need to go out and spend thousands of dollars on replacing these before they've even used them. So it's gonna be an interesting one today, guys. Let's roll the intro and we'll get stuck into it. So we're going to be talking about these stock tires like i said and what sparked this video was a guy called uh, greg robinson one of the viewers he commented and he said you know is it worthwhile basically upgrading these and what were my experiences with them so we're going to talk about that today um, you know these are called a dunlop grand trek they are touted as an all-terrain tire and you know what for the for the job that they do for coming with the car they actually do a pretty good job i would say that the main focus of these tires is purely to get the fuel economy value that they have on the uh, brochure, basically. And that's pretty much mostly all they're good for. I mean, off-road, they still do okay. I mean, I've taken these in sand, uh, I've taken it on wet roads, and some people have, um, you know, complained about hydroplaning and stuff. But, you know, guys, I really don't have any issues with them. You know, I've done pretty much everything I need to do on them. The tread pattern on these, I'll show a close-up now, but the tread pattern on these, um, you know, they are they are okay. They do have some fins on the side for grabbing and stuff, but nothing like uh, something like a Toyo All Terrain or a Bridgestone, like a KO2 or something like that. And definitely nowhere near something like a Mud Terrain. So as long as you kind of understand that and understand that this is predominantly, going, although it's an All Terrain tire, it is going to be predominantly for on the road. To get this out of the way, which are the stock dimensions of the wheels and tires, the tires that are on these GXL Prados, which are going to be slightly different to the VX and Kakadus, but the GXL um, Prado tire stock size is 265 width, 65 profile in an R17, uh, so a rim size of 17. They The rim size is a 17 by 7.5 from the factory, and they have an offset of 25, so that's a positive value, of course. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're working with from the factory. Um, you know, the tires, I think, are a great width for the vehicle. Um, I think that, you know, you probably don't want to go much wider than this uh, on, a, uh, on a vehicle that you're going on and off the road with. They do look a bit small, though. That's probably something that I'll mention, that these rims don't particularly look um, that great, especially once you start putting a lift in that in these vehicles. They look a little bit small. Um, so you might want to go with a maybe slightly bigger profile tire just to give yourself a little bit more uh, of a better look. So let's talk about, do you need to upgrade these stock tires? In my opinion, after putting 10,000 Ks on these in a variety of different situations, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, sand, so really, really off-road sort of stuff, uh, but also highway driving and everything in between. We have a lot of wet conditions here in Cairns. So is it really worthwhile you know, upgrading these tires and spending two grand before you've even really gotten into the vehicle? Now, it's going to be different for everyone. That's what we have to get out there is that it's really difficult for me to, to stand here and say, no, you shouldn't get uh, an upgrade straight away. If you are going uh, and doing, say, tracks like uh, the Cape Trib tracks, um, you know, you, we're doing Kreb, we're doing, you know, all these really muddy sort of tracks where it's going to be actually dangerous for you not to have maybe even a mud terrain in certain conditions, um, then absolutely you probably should be looking at upgrading almost straight away. But for me, I mean, I took this and I still take this off-road all the time with these stock tires because let's face it, the majority of the trips that we do are going to be on the road and then there's only gonna be a small percentage of that trip 
that's going to be off the road. And you know what, these handle just fine off the road. I don't have any slipping at all. Uh, we've got a pretty hairy track we could call it going between, it's not really a track, it's, it's a road, but it's a dirt road going between like uh, where I live and Chiligo. And we were going easily 100 Ks on that road. Um, it's a gravel road and these things didn't lose grip once. A um, little bit of a sketchy road, but you know, it's like these, the safety systems in the vehicle let you know when you're getting a little bit out of shape. And also the, the tires did a great job. So I can't fault these at all, at all. I did take this on that Chiligo trip and I came back and I thought to myself like, if they can handle that and they can handle some of the sand driving I was doing as well when I first got this vehicle, then these things can pretty much do everything that you need to do. Um, if you're someone who's just buying this vehicle to run your family around in and you're doing a bit of towing and you're going uh, you know, off-road a bit on the weekends and that, you know, you'll probably be fine with these tires. You know, I mean, change them if you want, that's your um, decision. But personally, I would much rather spend that two, three grand on doing another trip um, or even getting, you know, another vehicle and that's repayments on, you know, another vehicle for another 10, 15 weeks. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it, it's a little bit silly to think like that, but two, three grand, that's a lot of money, guys. Um, and that's another holiday. That's another, you know, that's another um, upgrade that you might want to do. That's maybe a little bit more important, like you could do a whole uh, dual battery system for that money. So, you know, um, have a bit of a think about it. Um, if you're a little bit worried about, um, and you know, we have to talk about if you start upgrading in terms of getting, uh, you know, a bigger tire or mud terrain or something, you're going to start losing uh, fuel economy. And the fuel economy on these things are great. I'm averaging about nine, uh, nine liters per hundred kilometers, which is absolutely brilliant. I mean, this thing uh, is cheaper day in, day out than my Subaru WRX to drive around in. So, you know, I can't really fault this thing at all, um, you know, in terms of having the fuel economy and that I'm a little bit worried that if I start getting things like the all terrains and the mud terrains, the increased weight is going to um, bump up my, uh, my fuel economy numbers, which, you know, at, on a longer trip uh, could be a little bit, you know, it could be a bit annoying spending, especially with the way fuel, fuel prices are right now it will uh, end up costing me, especially on a large trip, like maybe four or 5,000 kilometer trip, you know, it would end up costing me quite a lot of money. So um, in terms of, do you need to go out and upgrade these tires straight away? No, uh, if that's all as, as, this is as far as you get in the video. Um, no, I don't feel like you need to. I think these tires can do just about everything you need to. Um, I think it'll come down to a lot more about the way that you drive and your knowledge about air pressures and stuff in terms of how far off the road you can get. But the next thing that I wanna talk about guys is what are the upgrade options? And if I were to upgrade, which I will be doing once these tires are done, after these tires are done, what would I upgrade to and what are some of the options? So let's have a look at that now. One of the things that I really like to do guys is looking at all the other rigs that are around and unfortunately there's really not too many Prado builds out there on YouTube. Um, one of the really good builds out there if you haven't seen it yet, but my statistics tell me that a lot of you guys are watching his stuff is uh, Fire to Fork. So if you haven't seen some of those videos, he does great videos about uh, different you know, camp cooks that you could do, um, a whole pile of different food and, and meal options for on the road and uh, on the fire and stuff. So he made a Prado that's really, really, um, it's a really tidy rig, very nice. Um, and the specs that he went with when he did the walk around with Ronnie Dahl was uh, he went with a 285 70 R17. So he kept the same size rim. He did upgrade the rim, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but he did end up increasing the width of the, of the tires um, by 20. So he went with a 285 instead of a 265. And he ended up giving it a little bit more aspect ratio as well. So a little bit more profile, a little bit more height of five. So it went from a 65 to a 70. Um, in terms of the rims that he went with, he went with a zero offset rim and a 17 by 8.5. So he increased the width by an inch and he also uh, increased the offset, or sorry, decreased the offset um, by coming out another 25, um, uh, 2.5 centimeters or 25 millimeters. So I would say looking at the videos, I tried really hard to have a look and see if um, he was poking tire out the side 
Um, I'll have to see if I can ask him to see what if he is poking tire outside. Um, but I'd probably, if it was me personally, I'd be looking at a very similar sort of a wheel and tire setup. Uh, but for me, I, I might even go with something like a 17 by nine with maybe like a 15 offset. So that would probably give me, um, you know, just, you know, pretty much the same amount of rim and that even a half an inch more to maybe fit a slightly wider tire if I wanted to, if I was doing more intense tracks. And it would, hopefully, it would probably keep me just inside of the um of the of the fender so that i'm not poking out because for those of you that don't know if you're over in america um and you know you're watching this because you know you're interested in the prados and you know you have gx460 yourself uh, we're not allowed to poke tires out here in australia so our tires have to be down in line with our fenders um, and we can be pulled up on it uh, by the police and we can get defected because of it, which would be a shame because, you know, if you're talking about um, buying two, three grand worth of wheels and tires and whatever, and you can't even use them, then that's a, you know, what a waste of money, you know? So um, something to think about. Uh, that's probably the type of style I would go with, um, that sort of, those sorts of specs. Um, tell me, like, what do you think? Um, I really don't have a lot of experience and there really isn't a whole pile of information for how big of a tire we can go on these Prados. So tell me what you guys think. Um, you know, what sort of tire sizes are you guys running? What sort of rim um, dimensions are you guys running? Please include offsets in that too, if you could. Um, it'd just be interesting to have that discussion down in the comment section. So in summary, guys, you know, I see a lot of rigs out there on the tracks and I see a lot of, um, you know, tow rigs and a lot of, you know, vehicles that probably aren't really doing the tough stuff and they're all running things like, you know, pretty serious all terrains and mud terrains. And I kind of look at them and think, well, wouldn't you rather spend that money on something else? Um, but, you know, it, it's your money, do what you want with it. But just personally, like I've only got a set amount of money I can spend on my vehicles every week. And I don't really want to spend a large chunk like that if I don't really have to. Um, I might actually end up upgrading, you know, before these tires are done. You know, it would be great. I love my photography. As I've mentioned, uh, the reason why I bought this flat back option was uh, of, of Prado. And if you don't know what that is, I'll put a video up, uh, a link for you to have a look at. But the reason why I ended up going with the flat back was because of the looks of the vehicle. So it makes sense that I'll probably end up, um, you know, changing the rim um, and changing the, the tire as well to give it a nicer look so it photographs a bit better. But, you know, that's just something that if I had the money, I'll do it. But, you know, um, these tires in terms of necessities and just getting where you need to go to go camping, these things are fine. So um, I hope that answers some of your questions. Um, and I do appreciate people like Greg and all the people that are commenting on the videos, asking all these questions. You know, it's a really great community we're starting up here, guys. Um, you know, although I'm in a different place to a lot of you guys, it's really cool. I'm getting comments from people in like Sri Lanka and America and all this and all this stuff. I never dreamed of that even even happening just to be able to communicate with you guys like that is, is really, really cool. So, um, you know, this passion that we have for full driving off roads and cars and, you know, it's 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 universal language. So it's it's a pretty cool thing. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for doing all the things and supporting all the videos um, and commenting and yeah and all that stuff it means a lot to me a lot of you guys don't get to the end of these videos so um you know uh, i'm only speaking to a small number of you guys here so uh, i do appreciate you guys making it all the way to the end of the videos i know i tend to go off on a little bit of a tangent but you know that's just that's just how how the videos go sometimes uh guys we've got more prado videos coming up lots of exciting channel news coming up as well and, uh, and yeah, and I really do appreciate you guys. So I'll see you in the next video very soon and take care and I'll see you then.